hello, it's Revy here and in today's video I will be showing you guys some liquid roto brush effects that you can make in After Effects as you guys saw in the beginning. And if you guys want to support me, I have a new website called editingvisuals.com so be sure to check that out. Let's get uh, right into this tutorial here. So the first thing we're going to do is to import a clip we're going to make this effect on and I'm using a clip here from Anneli Shoppa's music video AAA. The first thing you're going to do is to root the brush him out basically. If you don't know how to root the brush, I made a tutorial on it. Feel free to go watch that first and then come back here. Now, when you have root the brush, it should look something like this here. And we're going to duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl D. And we're going to delete the root brush effect on the layer below here. So we get the background back. And now we're going to duplicate our root the brush clip here. So you're going to press Ctrl D. We're going to use the other one uh, for later. So you're going to pre compose one of the root the brush clips here. So you're going to right click, pre compose compose and here you can start off by making this invisible here so you can just press the eye there and we're going to make a solid layer here so you're going to right click here make a solid layer and here we're going to be adding fractal noise you're going to set the fractal type to dynamic twist the contrast is going to be 200 and the brightness is going to be minus 10 after that you're going to open up transform uncheck uniform scaling and here set the scale height to 981 and then we're going to animate this a little bit quick so we're going to hold alt press the clock here on evolution and here we're going to type in time star key 250 so now you guys will see the fractal layer is animated here we're going to continue with this solid layer uh, in a second. We're just going to fix one thing with our rotor clip here. So we're going to go back to the clip, make it visible. And here you're going to add a effect called threshold. And you're basically going to animate this a little bit. So you can open the layer up like this. Effects, threshold. And you can start by setting. So it fades in. Then go to first point, set it to something less something like this so the white area here is where the liquid effect is going to affect basically and we want to have a little bit you know variation to the liquid effect so you're going to go to a little bit further into the clip change the level here again to something else maybe increase here something like that then go to the end and set it to something like that so this is how our threshold effect looks like here and now you're going to pre-compose this rotor brush layer here again so you're going to right click pre-compose and now we can just name it clip here. So now when we are done with this animation here, we actually have to render this clip here. So you're going to go up to file, export, add to render queue, and from there on, render the clip. So now when you have rendered that clip, you're going to import it back in, just like that. And you can make the clip layer invisible. And you can make the black solid layer visible. And you can make the, <laughs> the clip <laughs> invisible again. So you just see the solid layer. And here we're going to be adding cc blob lies and here we're going to open up blobbiness and then on blob layer you're going to choose your clip you just imported so now it's going to look something like this here which is very very clean and we're just going to leave the rest of the settings on blob lies at default so you don't have to change anything and after that we're going to be adding cc glass and here on cc glass you're going to open up surface on bump map you're going to choose clip the one you imported and then you're going to change the softness to 8.5 and the height to 100 displacement is going to be zero and after that to make the color more enjoyable to look at we're going to be adding colorama to this and here i'm going to be using the default settings but i'm going to animate the phase shift so you're going to hold alt press the clock on phase shift and here type in time star 250 so now the color here is going to change which looks pretty pretty clean now we can go back to our main composition again and the thing we're going to do now is actually not for the liquid effect here we're going to make the background a little bit more cleaner so we're going to be adding lens blur so now it looks something like this here it looks not good at all but you're going to set the quality to sharper and the iris scale to 2 so you get something like this and here is where the rot brush layer we duplicated before comes in so you're going to drag this one below the liquid effect make it visible so now nle chopper is going to be focused on the whole clip here which is going to look very very clean okay so back to the liquid layer here you're going to be adding a effect called razor and here we're going to set the ray length to one and the raised brightness should be free as it already is and then we're going to be adding deep glow to this as well i'm going to increase the radius to 489 around 500 basically and then the exposure is going to be 
0.71. After that, press smooth blending and drag on the threshold to zero. And then on the blending mode for the layer, we're going to choose screen. Okay, so this is how your liquid effect looks now. It's pretty clean, but we're going to add some more effects to this. And we're going to make this clip a little bit more crispier. So we're going to make a 4K quality effect here. So we're going to press Ctrl Alt Y. And here we're going to be adding a motion tile. Set the output height to 110. Output width to 110. And then press mirror edges. After that, you're going to add sharpen. And here we're going to set the sharpen amount to 15. After that, you're going to be adding unsharp mask. And set the amount to 15 here as well. Then add detail preserving upscale. And here set everything at 100%. Change the alpha to detail preserving after that add remove drain and here open up noise reduction settings and drag on the passes to one and set the viewing mode to final output so now it looks something like this looks a little bit cleaner after that we're going to make another adjustment layer so we're going to press ctrl alt y and here we're going to add a simple classic vignette i'm going to change the angle of view to around 30 so 32.3 i personally think looks great so this is the basics on how you made the first liquid effect version here and the other one we're going to make now so for the other one we're going to be duplicating the background layer so Control d you're going to be deleting the lens blur effect on the new background layer and here we're going to be adding cc mr mercury you're going to set the velocity to 3 and the birth rate is going to be 2.7 and then gravity is going to be 0 and you can set the blob birth size to 0 as well and then I want to make it look like water uh, this so I'm going to be adding four color gradients and here I'm going to choose a lighter blue here so I'm going to go with something like this here then copy this blue here to all of the other color positions and then set it to color and the opacity is going to be 34 percent so it looks something like this now it looks pretty clean and after that we're going to be adding warp and here set the warp style to fisheye and then set the bend to minus 50 so we get a very cool like angle here and after that we're going to be adding deep glow to this and i'm going to set the radius for the deep glow to 454 and the radius to 0 0.59 and then add smooth blending and on molt as well and i forgot to say you're going to set the animation to freely instead of explosion so now it's going to look something like this here which is pretty pretty clean it's a very very clean liquid version here and if you guys want it to be reverse so it's like goes in the water here you're going to duplicate the layer again Control d you can make the uh, real one invisible and the new one you can pre-compose the new one and here press Control alt t and then you're going to flip the keyframes just like that just switch place okay so now it's going to end up looking like something like this here and i think it looks pretty pretty clean i think all of these liquid effect versions looks very very clean but there is one more thing we have to do and that is to add motion blur in this clip here you can see enerly choppa is very like motion blurred if you look at his hands and the shirt and stuff like that that looks very unrealistic when we have a sharp liquid background or foreground so you're going to pre-compose this whole composition here pre-compose it and here we're going to be adding rsmb and the settings i will be using is going to be the blur amount to 0 0.3 and the alt motion src to liquid now your liquid effects is finally going to look something like this here very clean very smooth a pretty pretty clean effect to use for your projects it can be music videos edits whatever and yeah if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please like and subscribe and if you guys have any new ideas on tutorials i can make please comment that down below don't forget to check out my new website editingvisuals.com and don't forget to check out my socials discord server and i will see you guys soon take care and have a nice day